for a long time, art education was uh, standalone. It, uh, it was considered a subject that you taught on, on its own. Uh, and more and more, as we address 21st century skills and global citizenship in our students, we realize that art education is an integral part of their learning. The introduction of art as a skill both the production of art and the analysis of art is a very important 21st century skill. Students need to learn how to talk about a piece of art, how to analyze it, how to apply it to their real life. Uh, in a sense, it becomes another social study skill uh, or discipline. So it is very important for us to integrate art appreciation and the understanding of art in our curricula in order to equip our students to deal with this new world which is out there and which has a great potential to manipulate them and to give them the means to manipulate the world as well because it's a two-way street. So I think the role of art education today is more important than it has ever been. Some of them may be artists, may be producing work which is uh, uh, of a visual nature, but all of them will be consuming it, will be consumers of art. So I think it's a fundamental skill today. Well, uh, it is quite different because it is student-led, not teachers-led. Uh, in, the, in the sense that the student has the choice to um, choose his media, his technique, and the process he wants to work with. Uh, this is quite a luxury because in a traditional program, you have uh, many students in the class and the teacher has to assign and give instructions. In the IB program, it's much more the student who appropriates, who owns his artwork. So he starts from the initial stage where he says, I want to um, do, for example, a sculpture uh, inspired by such an artist, and this is the technique I will use. So definitely, the student starts from the initial stage till the final product where he owns his own work. And this is not in the traditional program. Uh, another thing is my role in that uh, sense is that to facilitate that uh, birth of an artwork because I call it a birth because it's really an innovating step where the student is uh, creating, completely creating all he has to do. Uh, it's quite frightening as a stage for the students because they've been used to the traditional program but uh, when I give them a chance and I encourage them to take risks and not be afraid, then, and I get so enthusiastic about their works actually, uh, they go far beyond whatever they try to do. I'm struck by the level of sophistication of the students' work today. They seem to have gone beyond the aesthetic and the purely pleasing, uh, the plastic aspect of art, to the expression of issues, uh, concepts, uh, uh, challenges, uh, social concerns. Uh, and they express that with a depth of analysis that didn't exist before. This is a recent development in the last um, 20 or so years, I think. And it mirrors the changes in the curricula that we are teaching at IC. So it means a lot to them because they feel that it's art that is going to be exposed to a public. And when they're going to be exposed to the public, of course, there are a lot of problems that may arise because they're going to be judged. They're going to be criticized, maybe. And uh, this gives them a daring uh, outlook that I don't care if I'm judged negatively. 
So uh, I think they become very bold. And I've noticed that many students did um, exhibit works that could have been very controversial to a certain public, but they didn't care. So I think this boldness and this daring makes them even stronger as artists. Expressing ourselves to art, I think, is a fundamental human imperative. It is not a, something which is reasoned or something which is rational necessarily. It is an urge to express how we view the world. It is a means for us to come to terms with our understanding of the world, with the understanding of the experience of the world, with the pain of the world. So I don't think you can ever eradicate the need for artistic expression from uh, the human experience.